Mexico. Good evening. There Welcome go. to the Commitment to Excellence, <laughs> aka the Peanut Butter Oreo Show. Yep. Oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, all right. It was pretty close to the Black Slings for a little bit, but we almost yeah we almost had it. We, almost. I mean, we still have to have one of you here to control this. I mean, TJ can work the buttons. It's the if Jordan was here, it's You're automatic. Make me work? The yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> so like, oh yeah, uh, you do know how to do. Yes, I, I. The thing you is, you do enough. <laughs> you do like, enough. You really I was do. Like, I was like, if there's a show you need me to lead, I'm more than happy to. This team would not function without you at all. Yak is like, let's talk about browsers and X videos. Is there something that they did? I'm looking it up Actually, now. <laughs> hold up. I didn't get my daily digest today. Right. <laughs> I'm kidding. While, I'm kidding. While they're All looking right. up, uh, if there's a, if, if X videos is in the news, my name is Marco. Oh, I'll be the host here today. <laughs> we're here to talk. Quick. <laughs> yeah. It was like, new. <laughs> We will find uh, out. Bra- Keep talking, Marco. <laughs> we're talking we're here to talk about <laughs> week six. Uh, just as a quick breakdown, we're going to be talking about uh, Attaboys, Take a Lap, Pickums, and uh, kind of the MV- NFL MVP race. Yeah, all that. All that. Which and more. I didn't find anything coming from browsers. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. Uh, yeah, they didn't. They, I, think it, it. I think it's just Don't normal do that. stuff. That's a false alarm. We will spring into action real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Uh, News like that is like a tier below Amber Alerts in terms of urgency. Oh, it's above Amber Alerts for me. I turned that shit off. I did turn notifications it off on you. It's just you know they'll find them. I work. I from can't home. help. Yeah. Bro, oh, yeah. have you not seen that uh, video about people actually going to act on Amber Alert? Well, see what if they're doing it, then I don't have to. No, it was a, <laughs> it was a comical video because no one oh. gives a fuck about Amber Alerts, which we should. Maybe we'd be a better society. I pay I- more attention to the little thing above the freeway. Than I do my phone. Yeah, but it's always a. It's not an amber. It's always alert. A, it's like a silver a, alert. Yeah, I, see, for me, the different. If you add in different colors, I'm starting to be. Like intrigued. here's the deal. Because I don't know. If, I don't know if you've noticed. It's always like a silver F-150. So how about this? If you see a silver F-150 right down the license plate, if you Just see the amber <laughs> alert, turn it in. You done your job. I, <laughs> it's your neighbor. He might be a pedophile. Just but do you, it. So I had to take my dog out at like 3 a.m. yesterday because I was like, he hadn't, he hadn't, you know, pooped in a while. Right. And I was like, uh, like he, like he'd gone like dang, 36 hours. Um, right. He was fine. He pooped today. Okay, I was about uh, to say, all right. Uh, no, like the vet said, uh, if he looks normal, and I was like, yeah, he's still an idiot, so it's fine. Um, hey, <laughs> the sweetest dog in the world. Bro, he just kind of like he just sleeps all day. He's lazier than me, bro. That's great. I just looked over. I was he, like, "Well, if you don't want him, I'll take your dog." I didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't. I love that dog. He's my kind of dog. Bro, I didn't say all that. He he's fine. But yeah. when Got I was taking a couch out, with his name on it. Oh, yeah, I mean, motherfucker just lives the life, honestly. <laughs> um, but I uh, I was like, take him out at like three a.m. and like yeah. there's literally like two just. Dead ass in the middle of the night, like working white vans just passing. And I was like, damn, child. No, like I said, trafficking is. is <laughs> oh, just man. Really traveling. Jesus. Right? I, was, I was like, because I, I, the, the driver like looked at me. We had this, this like acknowledgement moment of, yeah. Mm, you probably don't want to inquire further on this. Was it Squid Game? No, it wasn't. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? But the dude, like, it felt like that, that like a news driver. He was like, you don't want none of this. He's like, look. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and walk away. And I just said. Jesus. And I was like, hey, yo, Michael, let's go. <laughs> so oh, I was no. Like, I can't have a dude know, low, know, lo, know my location yeah. and saw that I noticed a little too Just much. you need to like walk in front of someone else's apartment as Be- if you live there. Because it was like under the speed limit. That's how I know the guy like looked at me. Like so. Purposely I, spotted you out just to give you a look. Just to give me a look, like no, because I was the only person. Walk out. away, man. <laughs> I walked, walked away. Walk away. I, I went back inside. I don't like things like that, Marcos. We black. We don't trust things like that. <laughs> nah, bro. Uh, M- Michaela's like, uh, you have this spidey sense. I'm like, no, it's being black. I'm like, no. Nah. It's like, it's like, mm, I feel something we wrong really with that. Yeah, I, I've seen Something's a bad off. joke like that. It's Miles Morales being like, does the spider sense ever turn off? It's like, no. <laughs> no, not yours, Miles Morales. <laughs> it's like, it's a j- it's the, people think it's joke. It's like, I'll be like, mm, I like that street. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go this way. I've done that many a time. Bro, I, uh, literally. A feeling. I have to. Not even a gut feeling, like an inkling. Like an inkling. That's it, an inkling. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take this other route. Yeah, shoot, like, have you not been in, like, a situation where you're looking around, you're like, mm, 
Like when I pulled over a gas that day, I was like, I don't need to be here much longer. Oh, it's not been many more gas stations. People. I have not gotten out of my car. I'm, I'm like, oh, like, I'm good. I see like a dude at the uh, front counter in a black T-shirt wearing all black and no one's moving. I'm gone. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <It's> like, I, <laughs> I look inside and be like, does this stop me from getting unleaded right quick? I got to. OK, OK, I'm going to stay in my car. Yeah. Mm. But that has nothing to do with what our topics are today. Yeah, let's get into that. Well, I mean, <laughs> the first topic, which I'm actually not too well versed oh, in. First of all, do we have any coaches that fucked up this week? No. For the first time in like three weeks. Cool. It's a cool two down weeks. period. Two weeks. We'll see. Yeah, two weeks. I mean, Mike Who's McCarthy's next? always fucking up, but that's caught Hopefully management. Mike McCarthy. I'm hoping for you guys. I would love to It's a bye week. How can you fuck up on a bye week? Actually, that's prime time for a fuck up. <laughs> Look, <I've gotten> <laughs> when you the... have too much time. Actually, we did have the, the safety get a DUI like Monday. But... That's all right. It's Dallas. It's, it's also like. That's nothing for Dallas. It's also nothing <laughs> for football can, players. Jerry can take care of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like college in Dallas. So, yeah, Jerry will, you know, do what he needs to do. It'll Make that disappear. Get swept under. You know, I'm in a place right now, TJ. Tyler, we did talk about Gruden, but that was last week. I'm that sorry. That was. I, I'm sure you can find that somewhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can find it online. There you go. <laughs> but <laughs> Find it on YouTube. Find it on SoundCloud, Spotify. Well, actually, I think we're not on SoundCloud anymore. We can oh. move to something else. Acre. Acre yeah. FM. Nice. So, look. Here's the deal. Um, I'm in a point now mm -hmm. in my football life to where my team is so bad. We have people who are like second stringers. Fighting to get, pulling Deshaun Watson's quoting fucking uh, Nipsey Hussle lyrics on Twitter, trying to get the fuck out of Houston. People we don't even care about that we really want to leave, but the fact that they don't give a fuck anymore want that and want to leave, it's just you know making our situation more dire. Go Strohs though, they're doing okay. So what's an example of this? Like oh well, we got Lonnie Johnson. Who know you're not gonna know these fucking people because they're Houston Texans and they're terrible. But when your backups are saying. Man, I don't even want this opportunity. Yeah, right. I just want to leave. I want to get the fuck out. Even if I don't play football again ever. We I just need want to get, get the fuck no, out of here. We need Houston. to get the Texans straight. Crime rates are probably going up. I, I don't. I don't. It's making the whole city angry. It's not. It's, it's, it's not making. And that's not a Houston. That's not a fault towards Houston. I feel like right. any city where your football team is just in disarray, I feel like crime just has to be going up. Because people, if you ain't watching the game, you're doing Ch trouble on the street. Chicago streets. has not done well since '85. Let's look at the crime stats of '85 and see how low those are. Yeah, bro. If there's unity. <laughs> yeah. If when the city's vibing, like yeah. I'm, I've always Houston's said. violence has to be through the root. Well, no, the Astros are subsiding. So, so, so a little yeah. closer to home, I know that terrorist attacks are down when uh, the World Cup is happening. They See? need to have that shit all year round. <laughs> the world doesn't care about us. <laughs> fucking like, have soccer all year round. Just like, and I the world they, will calm the fuck down. I'm pretty sure the Olympics operate in a pretty similar light. I'm it, sure. Whenever like there's universal sort of combining things that bring people together, yeah. They're yeah. saying Strohs have it rough this series. What's going on? They lose well, they, already? They've lost this two to one. So they ain't doing great. They're going to do better. We got we got hitters. But they're there. The bats are hot. Right? They're Break there. out the trash can. They are there for the fifth time in, in a row. Yeah. Very so good. Doing system. very good. Very successful organization compared to the shithouse Texans with their cult mentality who just released a player who's been there for 10 years, does great for the community. Whitney Merciless, again, a player you don't fucking know, but a good guy. A couple sacks this season. We have Charles Amenehu. You know him. Texas. He's, he plays for the Texans. He's been uh, an inactive, healthy scratch for the past three weeks because he has uh, tweeted things that the organization didn't like. Hey, Y'all are so our best, One of our best defensive players, mind so, you. Really came into his own. So this is going to be pink, but, <laughs> yeah. but my friend showed me this, and he's like, this is the only reason why you should be going for the Red Sox instead of the Astros. It's, I don't I see. I can't see that. I don't know what that is. What's Ted Cruz is an Astros shirt. Well, he's from Texas. Obviously. He's from Canada. Well, is there a reason the screen is green? Is, yeah, it's broke. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is it that screen that's green? It's this it's one. That one. Yeah. It's, when did that happen? I don't know. We'll you figure it out later. This whole, yeah. But did yeah, this no, happen last time? Look. No. Hey, I can't help who the fuck's an Astros fan. Like, this is the one thing Ted Cruz got right in his life with being a <laughs> fucking Astros fan. Went wrong everywhere else in life. Is he a Texans fan too? I hope the fuck not. Well, it doesn't. It fits, actually. Take that back. That's the perfect team for Ted Cruz <laughs> and Greg Abbott. 
I hope they both are Texas fans. <laughs> Texans? Texans, or? I'm sorry. You gotta, yeah, yeah, Greg Abbott, really to Greg Abbott is definitely name. a Texas fan. I mean, okay, that, that, that one's not fair. Most people are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we right? don't talk about that, okay? I'm sure Dan Patrick is a Cowboys fan. They got to split the For difference. For sure. Yeah. But. How dare you do that okay. shit, Marco? <laughs> so. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with the story, but you said you wanted to. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I hope you brought somebody oh, brushed yeah. up on yeah. it. Mm, One I, of these. I was, I was on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I you was, were there for I was, late I was, breaking. I was, I was, you were there from no, the beginning. I was, I was literally in that. Did you tweet? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't tweet nothing out. I oh, that stupid. it was a free for all. Uh, I've never <laughs> seen some idiotic been. shit like that in let my me, life. Let me tell you something. I've never. So the internet is a rabbit, rabbit like dog. Yeah. It's a rabbit German shepherd. Mm hmm. And you don't want that rabbit German Shepherd to get off the leash most of the time. You're like, too much. Bad dog, right? 100%. This was one time I was happy they let the fucking German, the rabbit German Shepherd off the leash. And the internet got in that ass because, wow, this person deserved it. And the embarrassment level has to be so high, he probably won't speak for the rest of the season. I wouldn't. <laughs> right, for those of you who don't know, we're talking about DK Metcalf. Yeah. So let me let me let me let me <laughs> let me set up the stage. All right, look, if you were watching the Seattle game yesterday, or what was it? Uh, two days ago. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Um, watching the Seattle game two days ago because the game yesterday was the Bills versus the Titans, Titans, Titans. which was, that was a great game. Great, great game. It wasn't. Um, I mean, it was terrible. But go ahead. <laughs> uh, so check it uh, down to the last. I want to say the twenty-ish seconds. Uh, Geno Smith hits DK on the line. They're just trying to they're just trying to get to a close enough place to where they can kick the ball, send this into Oats. Um, DK Metcalf, you know, catches it, runs it down, is clear of the first down, like they're in a great position and wants to go a little bit further. Has his arm a little, uh, has the ball a little more loose than he should. Gets punched out, causes a fumble. Second time that's happened to him, by the way. Go Tyler Lockett's able, <laughs> Tyler, Lockett, Tyler, Tyler Lockett's able to jump on it. They recuperate. Everything's all good. Or I think it was Tyler Lockett, but yeah, they recuperate. Everything's all good. They go into OT. Um, they end up losing an OT, but you know what? And Geno Smith is still in the league. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. Also, <laughs> they're not the only. I know a lot about football, and I didn't know that. That's that's very fair. Uh, <laughs> I had that question at the start too. Yeah. But essentially, um, TLDR, you know what? Hey, bad move to go a little bit over extension. You right. know? And the, pr- the other problem was it, 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 di- it was a it, dumb play. It was a dumb play because he didn't go out of bounds, even though he was right next to the yeah. out of bounds. So you so, held the ball like a loaf of bread and you didn't go out of bounds. And Two so, mistakes. Luckily, you got saved. That, yeah. This time. You got saved, ended up losing. It's all fine. Right. So, you know. <laughs> They missed the kick? I didn't. No, 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 no. It's no. not important. Like, 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 all <laughs> In this story, it's is, not important. All yeah. you need to know is DK Metcalf. Boneheaded play. Just made a bad play. Yeah, boneheaded. So, <clears throat> let me make sure this is clear. Uh, I, we've mentioned him on the show. If you if you like football, you have definitely heard of this individual. Right. Uh, can, th- three-time yeah. ho- uh, three-time uh, Super, Bowl. Super Bowl champion, yeah. Hall of Famer, right. uh, all time top ten, all t- uh, top five on some list, but top ten all time tight end. Yeah. Shannon all pro, Sharp. I don't know how many times. Pro Bowl, I don't know how pro, many pro, times. Pro Bowl, a million times. The resume is long, which yeah. I bring up resume. <laughs> we'll get, <laughs> to, get it. to it. Yeah, right. But essentially, Shannon Sharp on Twitter makes a simple comment. He's like, "Man, why are you, DK Metcalf? Why are you making a super? I, like, what was DK? Uh, uh, like, what was DK thinking? Thank why try to play hero in that situation? Why yeah. try to play hero in that situation? That is a simple fair tweet." Simple, fair tweet. From like, a like, legend. Like, from, and also from, from like a frustrated <laughs> yeah. fan, right? Like, right. Or, or, like, if you were a fan, like, that's something normal. Yes. Nothing too aggressive. DK didn't like that. No. 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 I, I take it you see what he responded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. And you also learn yesterday or, to, or to, whenever you're reading it now that DK also might not know sports that well. Not at all. If any, Especially the one that he plays. Especially the one that he <laughs> yeah. plays. Uh, because he follows that up with some unsavory tweets that Marcos, I know you haven't pulled up. Actually, you know, I'll go ahead. And, I, I got it. I got well, Mar- it. well, no, Marcos hasn't pulled it. Marcos. Marcos pull it up. It's fine. He'll put more okay. clarity. <laughs> I got it. I got it. So. Because the, 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 I only have the quote it's... in response that DK posted. So while he's was, doing uh, that. Stop questioning me, little boy. Like calling Shannon Sharp, little, little boy. boy. Yes. <laughs> now, see, look, I, we, look, I've heard many a tweet, especially from a Texans, who have tweeted at a John McClain, who was the Texan, who's been Houston's writer since the Oilers. Mm-hmm. 
he's in the Hall of Fame, actually, for writers, sports writers. So what he says is kind of gospel when it comes to football. So I've seen, you know, players tweet, you know, you don't know what you're talking about, old man, and leave it be. Leave it be. That's it. Yeah. Nothing nothing else. That's the worst I've ever heard. TJ, so, <laughs> what did DK Metcalf <laughs> say to Hall of Fame of Shannon Sharp? So, first of all, he starts off with yeah, the little boy comment, which let me just tell you right now. The disrespect on that. The amount of disrespect <laughs> is, that is entitled to that statement already speaks yeah. volumes on DK's character. Who, by the way, who, by the way, uh, let me just make a PSA. Yeah. I wouldn't rep a lot of all those Jesus statements on your Twitter. You're going to be a dick on your Twitter right alongside those because, you know, you're not giving respect to anybody. A mega right? dick. And let me also just. Like that was a mega dick move what he said. Next. Oh, absolutely. Gotcha. Let me let me prefix this because we talked about this at work today and people of the more Caucasian ethnicity will say didn't get it. They were like, well, that's fucked up. But I mean, you know, he just called him a little boy. Yeah, that's playful. <laughs> I'm like, all right, look, here's the deal. <laughs> to black people, that shit right there. That like is, if someone's older than you and if calls someone, you if, that if, shit. If, yeah. if someone calls you little boy and they're older than you, that still pisses you that's off. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right? Like Slightly not as much. Because yeah, you stated a fact. Said yeah, I'm, I'm, you're older than me, okay. Especially if it's coming from an OG, right? Like When you are Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp, and this guy who's, what, a third year? Third what? year. Third year. Wide receiver. No pelts on the wall, zero. Mm. Still wet behind the ears, really. Young. Comes at you Blue like. hair. Says that shit? Looking like a Jolly Rancher. To Hall of Famer Shannon <laughs> Sharp. What the fuck? Oh, but wait. <laughs> There's more. Um, so, Shannon Sharp, you know. <laughs> OG. Being, OG being the OG he yeah. is, is like, I ain't going to take this. Shannon Sharp is not afraid to talk some shit on Twitter. But he kept it not not too crazy this time. He said, nothing to question. That was a dumbass play. And your pride won't let you admit it. You can't question anything I've done. Pray your resume will be as complete as mine. Yeah, Pray. Enjoy the rest of your day with prayer. With the hands. emoji. Yeah, with the emojis right there. That's what so somebody at that with point, religious quotes on their Twitter can say. That, see, you know at that, point, <laughs> at that point, you stop. Hey, you could have just you could have been mad about the play, said some shit to, Shan, to Hall of Fame of Shannon Sharp, and you fucked up. He's OG. He handled it like a gentleman. He was like, hey, call look. it a day. That's it. You didn't have to respond. D oh, but he did. Oh, <laughs> he did though. So, so what DK decides to say is, <clears throat> and I quote, "From the looks of it, I can wipe my, you know, I can cuss poop here. emoji shit." But yeah, he said a poop emoji um, with your. We want to. So from the looks of it, I can wipe my shit with yours. Continue to gossip, you washed up wannabe. Okay, so this is where I chimed in. <laughs> this, this is where I had to. So much. This is where I had to be like, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm confused. Now. I'm very confused with what you're coming at because a quick Wikipedia search could have saved you a lot of disrespect you're getting, right? Um, number one, DK ain't got no rings. Zero. Ain't got no rings. And, and, and this is all withstanding before this. Yeah. You know what? I actually I had a spot. I, I wasn't really deep on DK that much, right? Mm -hmm. But I had a fond spot for him because I was like, hey, you know what? That's a good, that's a good number two receiver on your team. That is a great. He could be a number one on another team, perhaps, you know, uh -huh. with, a little, with, with a little more cooking. It's a good player. But he's a good player, a good athlete. You know, probably in the term of his career, he'll get to a really good a place. Poop emoji. How old is this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, well, hey, he, he's just not trying to curse. You know, it's bad look if you curse at someone. Hey, yeah. Because Shannon Sharp didn't, cur didn't curse at him except call him, you know, dumbass play. And he called for what it is. His, pride, what it wouldn't let, like, his pride would not let him admit that he was wrong. Play. Just right? admit it move on. A DK, homie. <clears throat> look. That one sealed it. That one that sealed your deal. Sealed it. Yo, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Someone talking shit on Twitter. First of all, this is not someone talking shit. Because if you go a little bit further, you can. I don't know why you picked all of him out of Shannon all people. Sharp has a blue check by his name. It's a blue check by his name, right? So right. that's why. So maybe yeah. he just thought he was the guy who talked with Skip Bayless every day. And, and Clearly, that's what he thought. Well, yeah, that's what M. Xavier just said in the chat. He says he said that it's a, clearly a generational thing. He recognizes him only from TV. See, look, man, this is that kind of shit when these fucking SoundCloud rappers come on this bitch and talking about, like, fucking... Uh, Tupac's not that great. They don't know who Tupac is or Biggie 
But uh, shit. What I think I, the one that gets a lot of shit is Snoop Dogg because he's he comes out like on cooking shows now yeah. and does all. Because he's like, yo, they, I got out the game. I'm Gucci. Like, <laughs> no, they come out like shit. Little B was my favorite rapper though. Mm. When you say some shit like that, I can't respect anything you do say. If you have talent, I can't see it. This is kind of like that. And this, like, look, look, this motherfucker. Look, I thought the first tweet. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker is O Dog from Menace to Society. He don't give a <laughs> fuck. He does. He's Bishop from Juice. He literally does not give a fuck. OG or not. Can I? Re- I'm like, it, it was a tad bit of respect there. To where I'm like, okay, I don't agree with you, but goddamn, you don't care, huh? But I had no respect after the little boy tweet, comment. That's the little boy, I was like, Jesus, that's such disrespect. But if you have disrespect and it's true to your heart, and you're like, I don't care if he is an OG, I am mad right now. Hope you apologize later. But, but you I, could, if you if he left it at that, you left it at that, whatever. But you follow that up with. What did he say again? <laughs> Called him a washed up wannabe. Washed up wannabe. Wiped his ass with the resume. Washed up wannabe. This motherfucker is a great. You don't even know that. And you play the sport mm-hmm. in which he is a great in. Why? How is that possible? Look, I didn't think. Look, DK Metcalf was a player who I was like, okay, he's a good player. He was trending upward for me. He's definitely trending downward. Oh, that, that was a trend. Way downward. the fuck downward. No matter what mm-hmm. he does on the field, I will never forget that. I'm just, I'm just confused as to like, you have uh, this. Go, I have a bunch of things on this one, but yeah. just for starters, right? Wikipedia. I'm, I'm, I'm really confused. Like, <laughs> it's so easy. You could just search it up. Everybody should be the smartest person in the world. You have a phone in your pocket, and of course, <laughs> and, and and of course, and of course, it's Twitter. So you have yeah. people who are already, you know, all up on DK's nuts, and it's the funniest shit because literally, you'd go down and you could read and tell who watches football and who doesn't, or like who's just trying to fight to fight for no reason, right? Because right. they'll go on and be like, "What has Shannon Sharp done?" Like, dude, just go oh to his Wikipedia. God. Like, you're embarrassing a lot. yourself, just like DK Metcalf. <laughs> or they're like, oh, DK. Okay, DK has more passing yards through his first three seasons than Shannon Sharp does. Different league, my dude, and also <laughs> different position. Different, different, different position. <laughs> it's a tight end. Half the time, yeah. you could have a blocking. A tight end in the nineties. So in yeah, nineties. Come on. So that's different, right? Literally, Shannon Sharp is one of the ones who are attributed to making the tight end position what it is today. Him and uh, Gonzalez. And Gonzalez. Like, that was it. Those, were were, those t- two guys, like, oh, tight ends, that's a position, huh? Yeah. Those two dudes are what did it. Tony Gonzalez and Shannon Sharp. Both Hall of Famers. Both so, Hall yeah. of Famers. <laughs> and then, Probably number one and number two tight ends. Absolutely. And then, you know, people were like, oh. Like, the Gronk I can, and Kelsey of their time, basically. They're like, yeah. I can literally, it's like, oh, I can list off a lot of the current tight ends that are better uh number one <laughs> tk sounds as dumb as the ape he's named after <laughs> <laughs> i love it that is good that, that is that's good. stepping on my in- landmines <laughs> but i like that <laughs> i just hope that person was black yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> it was key yeah, <laughs> key! yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then i feel great about oh that. yeah i like it um but essentially the whole thing is right like like, people were instantly like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I can name a bunch of uh, tight ends that are better. Uh, if you go on overall receiving yards, uh, Shannon Sharp is still top five, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. So. Hall of Famer. I have never I seen know. a situation where you can, <laughs> like, just look. Yeah. At, how are you going to disqualify someone whose stats are written wanna, out for you? Let's disqualify Emmett Smith while we're at it, huh? Barry Sanders, <laughs> maybe? Why like, not? Oh, like, oh, who was under center? Like, no, 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 no. He's got three rings of it, it, Super Bowl rings. Yes. Three. Th- that's three. three. Of them. How many other? Not many people have. No, no, not many people have three. Yeah. Not many people have one. DK, yeah. you don't even know. You don't even have one at the yeah. moment. Yeah, t- some of your teammates do. Some of your teammates <laughs> but do. But you don't. Like, you ain't at. You, at this rate, if, you go, if you're walking around with shit like that in your head, man. I don't know how you're alive, DK. <laughs> you're like, God damn, you're stupid. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, I was like, dude, like, who you gonna run up on like that? Um, but, uh, you know, this kind of goes off into my whole thing that I have with, like, you know, just respect principles and, 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 and I don't want to dive into a black sort of thing, but yeah, yeah like, this ain't a good look. It looks ignorant. It looks ignorant it really as shit does. for no terrible. reason. For something that wasn't even that bad of a comment. He didn't shit talk you. It was a bad play. Own up to it, young cat. 
Like, that's what you they do. They don't like to do that. They don't like to own up to their shit, right? Like, they and I'm don't. like, you're a multi-million dollar person. Like, do you're your making job. millions. Yeah, right. Do your fucking job. Like, it ain't like you're hard. A, like, hey. You, you did know, half of it. You caught the fucking ball. Like, you're fine. The second half is easy. Every other player manages to do it. This is the second fucking time you can't do it. Did he, did, 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 like, I could only, I could totally understand. You know what? Hey, let's say someone is uh, has blue check mark and ever like a basketball analyst trying to talk shit in uh, trying to talk shit yeah. in football. Do I think it, it requires this engagement? No, right. you don't do that type of shit you know because what? you're a professional. But number two, like having coming at somebody who is a defining factor of the game with that level of lack of knowledge and and that and that lack of respect is is not it sets the precedent. For a lot of the other young players that like, hey, that's like you just have the gall to do that. Like it's it's cool and it's fine to disrespect the people who yeah. made the game that you play as popular as 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 stringent as it is. It's like making fun of an M like I'm not saying he's MJ tier, but it's like making fun of like like being like, oh, like MJ couldn't survive in the league nowadays. It's diff it's different, right? It's and there's actually motherfuckers who do say that. It, uh, yes, I know. Yeah. I, I know and, and, the most ridiculous. No, he wouldn't survive because he'd probably get kicked out because he's too fucking physical and good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They also, yeah. Also, if you really want to get into it, football was way more physical back in like back in that. Oh in yeah. In the 90s, there was there was no targeting. <laughs> back then. You didn't have that protection, didn't PK. <laughs> like, yeah. like you, 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 you got some safety nets that, as a receiver. That was before the Saints hun Hunter Gate or whatever that was. Yeah, Bounty Gate. Bounty, Bounty Gate. Gate yeah. Baby. Yeah. yeah, Bounty Gate fucked it Bro, up. That was old. I thought Bounty Gate was the smartest thing. <laughs> like, like, yeah, that makes sense. Of course, they're gonna do well. The last time the Saints defense was good. Hell Just to put bro, that out there, they were not bro, good tell, for a very long yo, time. I, I, hey, yo, put anyone else on tip. Like, hey, you same got me. players, mind you. We you go yeah, you got you got me in some pads. You tell me, hey, five hundred thousand that day. Yeah, heck yeah. Um, but no frills. <laughs> like it just it, it's not a good look. And and he does circle back. And he does apologize the next, like you know, after a few hours. He after, does something after he, he should have done up. about four tweets before. No. he calmed down. And was like, all right. No, he says, you know, you know what? You're right. Laughing faces. I do pray my resume can match up with yours. Hashtag work in progress, baby. You still left the shit. It's not an up. apology. In That's not anywhere. an apology. He looked up his Wikipedia and was like, "That's oh. absolutely." What he, did. <laughs> no, he looked down the tweets and the was tweets, like, "Fuck!" Yeah, like I'm. Oh I'm God. An it, like, yeah. And then he then he Wikipedia it and then he was like, "Oh fuck." I look like oh. the dumbest motherfucker <laughs> alive. So to wrap this segment up, from this moment forward, I don't know if we'll talk about DK Metcalf anymore while we do this. No, because he already played the Colts. Like that's the only other interesting thing that he does. Okay, well, I mean we still got a long season, so he might. I'll talk about the next time they you guys might be the worst. Might show out. They might be one of the worst team in the oh, NFC West. Oh, they're terrible West. right now. But if ever we refer to DK Metcalf, he is now Donkey Kong Metcalf. That is how he will be addressed <laughs> on this show. I'm not sure I can do that. <laughs> Come on, Marcos. <laughs> Come on. I'll say it. <laughs> How about that? I can. When he wins a ring, I personally will stop referring to him as Donkey Kong Metcalf. No, but until no, then, he will be Donkey Kong Metcalf. No Russell Wilson? Like, no way it's this year. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Nah, dude, I, no curves here. Hey, man, I'm just saying, uh, NFL, I got a proposition for you. I, I think that it should be a requirement in the league that you take a, like, you know, an NFL history course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no shit. Like, straight up, like, I'm talking like a, like a, like a, like a full semester of understanding the people who got you to, to the sport it is because it's a respect thing and it comes down to a character thing too right like like i actually like you know dk as a, as a player I had so much like he's a physical player he, you can see he has a, lot of a drive. specimen yeah. he, like like you got a lot of drive yeah. dude like don't make this start to be your habit when you're getting criticism and yeah. critiques terrible thing to do like because you're also a role model to people and that's not a good look across the board because then you're encouraging disrespect and ignorance and that is something yeah. that in black culture we don't can't he afford, don't need my that dude. shit man we can't can't afford that. Which is why you a donkey calling that cat. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I won't call you that just yet, but I will say, I, I mean, as as someone who you know was was a passive fan, uh, like, you, you just do it was like, being the key word. Yeah, was like, I really like? I, there's a thing with like 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 the ability to charge up somebody with the lack of respect that I just like. I don't like that. Shit, I can't. Do I it. do not like that um, shit. Respect is a 
it's going extinct. Like, it's going it's, extinct. Like, it's and, ridiculous. And, 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 and it's becoming more acceptable to make that sort of to regards not, to and To be remarks. disrespectful. And, I, and once again, I might have a more understanding or a better gr- way or gauge if it's for someone who hadn't played the sport. Let alone done all the shit Shannon yeah. Sharp has done. Yeah. Let alone done all the sh- shit Shannon Sharp has done. But even if it was somebody else, like, yeah, you play football. You make millions. You have a great, you have a great career in history. You also have a chance that you know that, like, dude, you can also get injured tomorrow and never play the game again. Will you leave a mark on history? No. So you can't cut down. You can't cut down others because you don't know how your life's going to end up. You haven't yeah. made that mark. Get your shit together. Um, like, and it, and and once you make that mark, and you are like the thing is, you're on your pathway there. You just gotta, you know, gotta wait. And you shouldn't be making those commentary anyway, because would you want that level of respect and response for when you become an OG down the line, right? All the work you put in. All the yeah. work and all the effort and and for a non-comment, like for a he has something to show for it. Donkey Kong Metcalf does not. You think I was joking when I said I would refer to him as Donkey Kong Metcalf Ooh. for the remainder of my life. From that shit. The chat you, asked if Sam gave you a new hat as an apology for what Gruden did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to say yes. I'm just going to say yes because he's not here. So we're just yeah. big fans of MaxMerch.com. I baby. forgot my hat at home. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> nah, but uh, yeah, we'll move it on. Yeah. Because I, I, I like this next one. So DK Metcalf, whatever. Don't call did, Metcalf. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Not, obvious, not obviously in the race for what we're about to talk oh, about. Oh, not at all. No. Not well, even close. Not even close. Not even remote. Reminder, not even close. It makes me wish they had like a, a IQ portion of the MVP. Like if you don't know certain things, you couldn't be MVP anyway. That would be so good. So eliminate the Donkey Kong Metcalf right off the grip. I won't, I won't question your intelligence, but I will say that clearly it's not great. I, I would say that your NFL, I, I would say that your NFL history IQ, just a little bit more work there. Um, but yeah. yes, continue. Sorry. Well, we're one third through the season. Yeah. Um, so this was a good Already. point. Jesus. Yeah. Good. Great season. It's honestly, it feels. It's been terrible. a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> for some of us. <laughs> At least you haven't had like. You didn't get a build up so your heart can break like other teams, like the Broncos. You're right. I knew, my, yeah. I knew my team was going to be shit from jump. So, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, but on that note, some mm. players are having really good seasons. Some, uh, and we're here to talk about those players and the MVP race. Oh, okay. That's fun. Um, really hard to pick, I, as far as I know, right now, as long as things stay on this pace. Because... Yeah. Uh, the three quarterbacks are actually in the running to break uh, Peyton Manning's single season passing record. Who's this? Uh, Tom Brady, Derek Carr, oh, yeah, God. and Kyler Murray. <laughs> Hold up. Say that last one again. Hold up. Kyler Murray. Thank you. <laughs> What school did you go to? I, they should revoke your <laughs> alumni ship. That's the, all I'm saying is I don't get I'll ride your a hate guy motor. From Texas I, more than you do. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. I can respect a, 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 a I can respect a player for playing. No, fuck that. Because you root for that little fucking troll doll <laughs> <laughs> that runs like the Road Runner, who is from Texas but decided fuck Texas and went to Oklahoma. If you went anywhere else, I would be like, okay, I get it. Oh, Southern, I mean, no, not even, actual Oklahoma, Dallas is Southern Oklahoma. You went, most of Oklahoma. Most of our quarterbacks go play in the SEC anyway. (laughs) Really? Yeah. Uh, Look, whatever. That doesn't matter. As long as you don't go to Oklahoma, I don't care. You know what? Let's start with you, Tommy. Who is your favorite? Not Kyler Murray. All right. None of the above. Josh Allen is still my MVP candidate. Josh Allen. One bad game does not. That wasn't his fault. Exactly. He's right. had two bad games. Two bad games does not <laughs> do anything. He's still Josh Allen. They had a bad game. They lost against a really shitty team, the Ghost Oilers. So I mean, it happens. You can't you can't win them all. You know. Mm-hmm. Your your win streak has to come to an end. Can you also? Again, which I can bet Arizona's will come to an end. Not this Sunday. Not at all this Sunday. They're going to blow a motherfucker out this Sunday because they play Houston. But after that, their loss is coming. Can you also and go probably in, Kyle Murray's going to get hurt. Can you also throw in your uh, – Because he's frail. For, uh, he's frail. De- Glass bones. Can you also pick your uh, defensive <laughs> player as well if you want to toss one in? 
Or I thought we were just doing MVP. You, you can oh, you do, mean so we can do both? Yeah, yeah you okay, can do both. Okay, defensive. Yeah. Oh fuck, I don't know. That's a great question. Well, we'll let you sit on that one. Let me sit on that. One. Get circle back. I got one in mind. I'm just. I'm trying to. The chat's not like your no. answer what because the uh, Diggs saying, is my defensive play of the yeah. But then Josh can't even do a quarterback sneak right. That wasn't on him. It wasn't his fault. <laughs> it wasn't his fault. If you watch that game, but you know he, what Josh sli- he did do? slip. He did slip. I'll give you that. But, but you know what Josh? I just can't, thought that was a bad no, call. I'm gonna address him personally. Oh yeah. Because I love when people interact and we interact back with you. You know what Josh is though? Durable. <laughs> He's durable. Resilient. He's not going to get hit and then break like fucking glass because he weighs 102 pounds soaking wet. I didn't know he, how big he was until they were he's talking a small about no, 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 Oh, wait. Josh, no, 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 Josh, we didn't know how. Jo- they were like, he's 6'5". Yeah, he's I was like, fucking huge. What? <laughs> yeah, he's ridiculous. He's bigger That's than Big big Ben. That's yeah. a giant. <laughs> he's fucking huge. Bro, they, they undersell this dude because that man is big. They were like, yeah, it's 6'5", 250. I was like. Actually that's don't a, want, actually a, don't want my quarterback to be that big typically, <laughs> but hey, he can ball. Bro, so no, I'll t- I'd rather take him than a fucking shrimp. Josh Allen sh- was smoothing, dude. He I'd rather was take smoothing. him than, La- than Lamar Jackson's mini me. In fucking Kyler Murray, one hit, one fucking hit. I can't wait. Well, it, <laughs> I'm a. Uh, is TiVo still? In th- I'll buy a TiVo to record that shit. <laughs> Cause fuck him. You don't like Texas? Fuck you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, Marcos, you go first. Uh, I feel like here. I didn't mean to. No, I'm sorry. I'm looking at you like I want to hurt you. I don't. Go ahead, Marcos. <laughs> so don't want to get too spicy, but I mean, I think that Derrick Henry kind of deserves it this year if he continues to play at the rate I hate that he's the playing. ghost oil is, but I do like Derrick Henry. He's How he's on not? pace to break the season single season record uh, for rushing, which Derek has been. Henry's going to be a Hall of Famer, like for sure. He's going to be one of the best to do it, and I'm happy for him. And on pace to break the single season rushing touchdowns. And I hope he does it this year of all years because I don't give a fuck about my team in the division or not. I mean, you're going to be rebuilding. You the Texans won't. We're be not great. rebuilding shit. Like stop, <laughs> stop. To rebuild, you need to do things the right way. It's a cult in the Texans. It's a weird situation happening. That team's not going anywhere. The owner is the worst owner in the NFL. Makes Dan Snyder look like Bob Kraft. Without the without the the you know, the jerking thing. Yeah, without all that, yeah, our owner's terrible. He looks like a possum. Go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) No, I just think breaking two records in the season is probably enough to do it. Also, he's Obviously, leading the Titans somewhere, the AFC South is pretty terrible. So they're getting to the playoffs at the so very they're least. They're gonna run away with that shit. Yeah. Also, I mean, I just like I like I'm a fan of seeing uh, non QBs getting the uh, MVP. MVP because it rare. never happens. Yeah, very rare. Uh, but what about you, D- uh, DYOP? I'm gonna be super biased. It has to be Diggs. Like, who's playing as hard as Diggs? Like, they're gonna I'm have trying to, to think stop. of who's gotten a lot of sacks and. Aaron Donald, maybe? Yeah, I mean, yeah, T- yeah. Uh, was, yeah, TJ Watt was making his case. Yo, TJ Watt. TJ yeah, Watt was, TJ, make, was trying TJ to make Watt. his case. Uh, but he's on this, Pittsburgh, this so it's going to be tough, yeah. Um, but for me, honestly speaking, I don't, I mean, I just honestly am not that big on, like, I mean, I'm, not, I'm just not a fan of Kyler Murray enough to, to be like, You could have fooled me. I just don't <laughs> hate the dude. I feel like he gets, like, I feel like he just gets shifted to the side for some reason. Because look at him. You are I, so prejudiced. Like this is like this is this is basically discriminatory off of height. I like. I like I'm Kyler sorry, Murray I just, just a little bit because a he plays for Cliff Kingsbury from. Texas Would you rather Tech. have Dak Prescott or Kyler? Murray? Oh, Dak Prescott. Thank easy. you because you know. Well, what? you know what? They're both might be hurt soon, but the, that's no, a no, no, no. But Dak will recover because Dak is a man. <laughs> Kyler is a Boy Scout. Mm-hmm. I. But I was gonna say my, no, like like not even not even like sixth grade. Motherfuckers, fourth grade. I don't. I don't have this hate for any player. He should live in a much. tree with the rest. I only of the hate Keebler Aaron Rodgers that much. I he should know. live in a tree with the rest of the Keebler elves where he belongs. So, in, my- <laughs> in Gridiron Heights, they draw Kyler Murray kind of like yeah, Sonic. Uh, yeah, they- he <laughs> just kind of rushes all over the place. <laughs> That's a fair. Yeah, put him in a put him in a Sonic video game. That's more accurate than real life. But on if a I'm not mistaken, field. who is still the only undefeated team? 
It is. It is it's the Cardinals. It's by chance. No, it's not. They're not going to win the games. Super Bowl. It's not by chance. Sure, they might not win a Super Bowl because if you're undefeated, they have you a great defense. You're doomed. I will give their defense hella credit. They have every offensive weapon you could actually could ever ever want. DeAndre <laughs> Hopkins alone. If they get to the Super Bowl, I want Larry Fitzgerald to come back just for one game. One game, please. He deserves. <laughs> he does. I do love Larry Fitzgerald. I feel like they I would. I love Larry Fitzgerald. Actually, you know, one thing I really have been seeing is that uh, football. Uh, back you know, when the Cardinals were good. A lot of organizations are usually pretty cool. <laughs> they about, were not that good. No, not uh, usually pretty cool, but like they do an effort for like long time, good names, like to get them back for like, oh, even a day contract for something like that, right? Um I think but, uh, Witten did one for the Cowboys recently. Yeah, just to just so he could retire, like, or like, yeah. So, oh yeah, he's gonna do that. Um, but I would go with, um, and you know what? I'm gonna lean more on the side of just seeing some outstanding things. Uh, I really, I'm, just, I, I want him to take the overall. Uh, I know that he got burnt one time, but. I don't think Diggs has a good shot for not only. Oh, it's, he's running away with that. He's, he's like, not only defense. Not, so, wait, who's your player? Yeah, you Diggs. Getting, oh, he's your MVP. Yeah, he's my MVP because I feel oh, like. Def- defensive players never win the MVP. Yeah, defensive players never win the MVP. But when you're well, talking about. I'm glad about, you didn't pick Tree Stump Murray. Um, I, <laughs> you get one more before I snap. Oh, no, I'm going to have like five, so you might as well <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I was like, because I might need to defend <laughs> Kyler don't. Murray. You don't. But no, he no. Hates Texas. Go ahead. No, but like Diggs to me, um, when you're thinking about difference makers, just plain and simple, forcing a turnover every single game of the season. Uh, and one for a pick An six. Interception every game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like getting yeah. a tur- getting a turnover, like literally, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not an easy feat. Doing something different. Yeah. Uh, if you look at his yards for the people he's covering, like for for like like in, in that, that sort of because a lot of the times like oh like Tooney got 189 yards it was like he wasn't covered by Diggs the entire time like yeah. they switch coverage so if you look for coverage for coverage pound for pound the dude is restricting people really really well as just a as just a good cornerback so i'm really hoping that this is one of those years i I, there is no reason if he does like if he goes on to break the interception record which oh yeah he's absolutely like which which he's on pace too if he goes on to break the interception record this is one of those years which belongs to who Oof. Marcos? No. It's only one of two people honestly neon dion neon dion or Darrell. i think it's Darrell. I think it's Darrell, too. Interception record belongs to Charles Woodson. Oh, Woodson. that's another option. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> but, I mean, come on, dude. If you're in that echelon. But, no, if you're, if you you're even in the conversation. You are on pace to be in the fucking right? Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. like, so, so I love, love, love seeing Diggs that Island energy is, from, is right? Thing, yeah. and, and, and if you. Sorry, Charles Woodson is all time. Let me look up single season. Oh, yeah. He okay. has 58 over his Old career. Chuck. Oh, that's a lot. Jesus Christ. Charles Woods an all time great. Don't tell Sammy I said that. He was a Denver Bronco. <laughs> just, just putting it out there. <laughs> you know who wouldn't know that? DK. <laughs> Donkey Kong done no shit. Probably like who? Don't have him as a trivia partner. No. Okay. Like, <laughs> this is where I show yeah. my ignorance, like DK. Um, Richard Night Train Lane. Night Train Lane. What year was that? I have no idea, man. That has to be like an. Also, 60s. time out. Your name is Night Train. That's kind of no. You should be a legend if you name is Night Train. Bro, I'm trying to. I'm like, hold oh, no, on. Let me. Let me. Let that, that be my football the, name. That's the best nickname yeah, I've ever heard in my life. Bro, shit, it's the Night Train. Come oh, run. No. Night Train. <laughs> bro, that's actually. Night damn. Train picked dude him off. Dude is a lion. Oh, Way back when. Let's go. Oh, that's oh, back that's when back they were when they good. Were dead. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that <laughs> makes sense. Night Train. God damn. How many legends, unknown legends do the Lions have? A lot A because whole they lot. don't have current <laughs> no legends. No one no Night Train Lane them. is from Austin, Texas like when he was born. See, I like this Come guy. On. I'm getting He's a good jersey of, my, of this guy. Absolutely. He's now one of my all-time favorite players. I need to know have, nothing gonna else. Be, I'm going to be on a trivia team just for this. Right. Um, But just going in while you're searching that up. Yeah, no, I think that. You know what? First of all, if you've watched any one of the shows where I've been on, you'll know that I'm a big, big proponent of defensive play uh, because I have a, a really big fond spot for defenses. And so seeing a defensive player get an MVP, uh, leaning it into leaning it into just his performance overall, I think he's just doing a good show. 
Good he, he was called Night Train because he refused to fly, so he would take trains from one city to that's the how, other. That's how legends are born. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> tra- trains aren't even comfortable. <laughs> They're so very he, uncomfortable. So that's why he has the interception record. He just gets there mad bastard. already. Yeah, right? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Dude, this record's been there since the 50s. God yeah. damn. Like, it's an impossible record. <laughs> How many interceptions was it? Uh, let me check. 16? Or 12. One season? 12. 12. 12. One se- sorry, an ad came in. It was 14 is the record right now. So he's he could. on pace. I mean, he can. If you take my if you take my two and put it in the middle, that's where I was. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but what is that like three games where he doesn't have to get an interception? He just has to get one. If I, that's what I really truly want, he's got to get a couple in one game. So. I want him to get an interception every game. To be honest, I think I want to just keep the streak. I never going. thought I would ever root for the Cowboys <laughs> in my life, but this is where I am now. He's halfway to it. It's hard not to like the Cowboys. I just really don't hope. I hope this bye week doesn't disrupt his flow. <laughs> But uh, no, other than that, um, and then honestly, because he was my defensive player pick, and he would be my defensive player of the year if I had to pick an offensive side of the ball. Um, uh, this is weird because like no one's really standing out like outside of QBs. You know who it isn't? Patty Mahomes, and that's weird. Uh, he's <laughs> yeah, got to right. the race. A lot of um, interceptions. <laughs> um, personal bias aside. Uh, after that last game, Dak is looking really good. So I, I'm happy he's like in the running. Yeah. But as a QB, I'm actually going to go with you. Josh Allen's is really good. And I'm prototypical quarterback. It's what and, you and, want. And I, and I feel like he is. Yeah, yeah. Like if I were to think of like, like, like an at home. If you chop him in half, you have Kyler Murray. If you, if you have an at home, <laughs> if you have an at home sort of yeah. like name brand, old school <laughs> white quarterback. Playing, yeah. playing, playing corn ball. Fed. Yeah, like he, <laughs> yeah, old oh, six school. five. He's corn fed like corn awful. Fed, yeah, um, Wyoming. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, no Ain't shit I'm, to do there but play football. I'm all for him, and you, you know what? He's the type of player who I haven't heard any flack for around him. Like, he seems like a good dude. Uh, and give it time. And yeah, of course. <laughs> the Once they get the ego, right? right. Um, but no, I, I really want the Bills to me feel like a team that is just should be. But should honestly should be one of the undefeated teams because to I think they yeah. just have the most consistent like I don't side, like on undefeated. both sides of the ball. It's like I don't like undefeated teams. I I, I, I think it puts a stigma on you. It yeah. does. It puts in, it's a bubble that just keeps getting bigger until it pops at the wrong fucking time. I said, oh, I you said, don't I, win Super Bowls or you lose a playoff I, game. I, I, I straight up said I was like, yeah, I don't like having undefeated. Like Cowboys being five and one to me is the sweetest thing I can. Perfect. Say. Yeah, they lost. Nice. They got their loss out lose the way. A, no, lose again a little bit later in the yeah. season. You're fine. I need a deflator. I need like a yeah. really bad loss. You got to bring them back down to earth a little and bit. And then right before, like I'm talking right before playoffs because yeah. we're in the NF. We're still in the NFC least, take so we'll loss. be fine. But um, yeah, that's take, my take plan. A, take a decent humbling get, loss. They should only get hotter as the season goes on because they get Demarcus Lawrence back soon. They get Kelvin Johnson back. Like they they get um, bribe. <laughs> So I don't have to take the drug test. Leo Collins back. True. Yeah. <laughs> but he's back up playing his ass off. <laughs> yeah, but you know yeah, how hard just, it is to have yeah. a good offensive line. If you get two hosses in there, that'll be great. Yeah. The shadiest lineman in the history of football. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. But uh, yeah, no, dude. I. Uh, those are good choices. Yeah, those, these are, I, 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 I feel, I feel confident in these. But we'll check in no in about a says, third. Right? Yeah, yeah. As long as no one said a certain name, I, I was going to be good. So no one did. I so don't. let's move on. Well, <laughs> the chat brought someone up, which oh. is actually oh. kind of like looming like Thanos. Like no one, I feel like. Lamar Jackson? No. Oh. Lamar Jackson is doing Lamar Jackson things, which yeah. is great. Right. But, He's going to uh, do it to the playoffs. We go ahead. Uh, it's Tom Brady. He's still on pace. God damn. Do we? I mean, do we have to? Keep I feel going? like that's just kind of. He's still here. That's enough. We don't have to give him <laughs> shit. I just, I kind of just like not giving him more awards. He's fine. He's fine. He's, He's good. getting more advertisements. You, that's what he cares you, you about. Kn- you, you know, I'm a Bucks fan too. Like I like the Bucks. You like the Bucks. I like the Bucks. Uh, like Cowboys are still number one, but I we love acknowledge the Bucks. he's around. He's around. That's all we Great need player. to do. Let's he's, let's get in the habit of of living in a world without Tom Brady. But also, you know? he also. I mean, this is not to undercut Tom Brady, but he plays on a team to where he could throw the ball up, and he's. I've said, he has four wideout ones. He, yeah, you could just toss that shit up. And Pray someone's going to catch it. Yeah, him. someone will, more than likely. I like that. Uh, so I had a friend on Twitter put it in a way where cause he, he doesn't watch football, but he likes analyzing stuff and the way that people analyze in the game. So he was saying, 
man, Tom Brady is so old that he's not the fastest, he's not the strongest, but he's just seen everything. You can't disguise a defense. It's with yeah. Tom Brady. It's all yeah. in his thing. <laughs> no, he's not, he's not going to rush for you. He doesn't even really have the same arm as a lot of the younger no, players. No, not yeah. at all. But He's flinging it, though. But literally, it's like a... Was it shit? He's he's a Pokemon with, at level one hundred. He's a dude who's been to war and back. Like he he's no like battle when, tested. Yeah, battle tested I mean, muscle memory even, at this point. I was about to say it's not even. I won't even say battle tested is an insult yeah. to him. Like God damn, the man's how many rings? Six, seven. Seven. I'm sorry. I confirmed. It. My <laughs> bad. Seven fucking rings. Like it's nothing he hasn't seen. He knows everything you're gonna do. So yeah, it's like a superpower at this point. Just yeah. And, and it's and, not fair. So just like I mean, he he's the only he puts he literally has Antonio don't like Tom Brown Brady. on yeah. reins, bro. He's yeah. number three. <laughs> Antonio Brown's your number three. Has him on reins, bro. Just like what look. kind of shit is that? Eight, calls eight Chat, Chat's getting mad at us because they're saying we're we're do- we're bad talking Tom Brady, and he has the quickest arm release. I don't know if that's true or not. He I'm does not. have a very quick arm release. Okay. His well, brain and his arm release was always his strength. And not, not, he I, never I, flung I, it down the field. He's just smart. See, He's see, the this, smartest this, fucking this is what quarterback. Happens with, is. with dudes who ready to block out for Tom Brady. I didn't say no one said anything bad. <laughs> about fucking Tom Brady. What the hell are we, we going to say? We literally were like, yeah, "He's right. good. He's great." Yeah, I was going to say, "When do we say an insult?" We just said like, "We just I would like to get in a habit." Of, like he, of giving other players some acknowledgement, man. No, it's fucking Tom Brady. No one's going to beat his records ever. No. It's Tom Brady. Yeah. It's the Michael a, Jordan of football. Let it be done. That's what it is. So just Literally. Yeah, the, but at a certain point, would you stop giving Michael Jordan awards? Like, no, I don't know. No. Him and See, it's between him and Kobe always for me. Kobe was it. The last of just the killer instinct true champions when it comes to basketball. Mm-hmm. Football, we still got Tom Brady, who does not like anybody during football season. Hates the world. If you ain't on his fucking team, mm-hmm. fuck you. After the season, whatever, just contrary to whatever Sammy says, seems like an okay guy, I guess. Actually, no, to me, yeah. I feel like on the Bucks, he's been a lot more. I, I think I've said this before, yeah, he's too. He's having fun, which he's is He's having fun, which me. is like. That's he, terrifying. He's on, he's on Twitter tweeting every game. Like, he's, he's, he's living his best he's life. He's having a, yeah, which is, like I said, horrifying. Because under the fucking iron fist of Belichick and that miserable fucking team, mm-hmm. yeah, no one's having fun. And that's he did that without having fun. This is Tom Brady having fun. And look at what's happening. Like, Did you know that uh, um, who has passed the most yards on a Belichick coach team? Who? Dak. Dak Prescott. Really? This last game. That's why nice. I said Dak is good. Dak is playing really well. Dak, Dak yeah. is fighting McCarthy. I said basically. Oh, he's winning. He's, he's, in, McCarthy's look, fucking. Y'all are winning in spite of <laughs> Mike McCarthy. He's terrible. He is shit. Yeah, they go so he right into, into the next segment. NFC champ, another NFC championship on the back of Dak Prescott. And yeah, that gets Trayvon me, Diggs. That gets me straight to our next. You're never going to get rid of which him. is uh, take a lap. <laughs> yeah, take and, a lap, and, and uh, oh, yeah, it's Mike McCarthy because for you, yes, but be- you guys won in spite of him and his <laughs> bad clock management, his bad decisions. Terrible. Yeah, um, to the point that so the Patriots had like one fifth of the yards that we had. Like they mm-hmm. were not one fifth of the possession, but they had uh, like half the yards. Yeah, and. Bill Belichick is a smart, good coach and was able to... If you say so. He, he's been making he's, a lot of mistakes. He has. No. Oh, I, Bill, I, Bell, look, Bill Belichick is a still, a, still a salt... Like, no, in terms of in-play no, in, in, no, in, in coaching, no, he's fine. No, no better than Rex, Rex Ryan. I, I'll put Bill Belichick on the level of Rex Ryan when it comes to actual coaching. Because <laughs> this motherfucker had Nick Casario, who's now the Texans GM, actually doing, doing his best in spite of a shitty possum looking owner and (laughs) and he had tom brady those two are gone now and it's now billy standing on his own and how's he doing i i was just (laughs) not great in game management. no in game management he's fucking that's what i was saying yeah (laughs) because nick casario was in the fucking booth telling him when to take timeouts he's gone now so i still think belichick is a very solid i give belichick two more years with the patriots before he's fired damn two two before he's either fired, I might give him one. Or he, okay, I would one to two years before mm-hmm. he's gone because he will be fully exposed. Yeah, Robert Crabb hates him. Oh, he despises him. He's waiting on a reason, and plus he's gonna be fully exposed as oh Tom Brady won you your championships and made you, and Nick Casario made you when it came to personnel. All right, cool. So you're a fraud. 
Bye. And that's what's going to be Bill Belichick's legacy, hopefully. Fingers fucking crossed because I can't stand him. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> he, that, gave that, us, that, he gave us Bill O'Brien. That's his baby. Tommy's going to mean today. <laughs> I'm He's, angry at the world. I'm a Texans fan. I shouldn't like anything. Hi, they, they spi- <laughs> They're spicy like that. All of Houston. Oh, I mean, but, especially with the Astros. Yeah. yeah, we are a hell of a fan it's more, base. still more pleasant than Raiders we fans, most, but it's oh, yeah. still hurting me. It's more self-hate than anything else. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. But on the real, real, like, uh, yeah, Mike McCarthy is just, like, his, his terrible clock management is going to be the death of us. Like, well, you got to lose a game because of that. Because of it, right? And um, Hopefully it's not a playoff game. Uh, it mean, will be. Like, there's only so much you can do with play. Yeah. Like, I hope people just, like, kind of step up and get on him a little bit more on there. Because, honestly, they've got a good recipe, Brian. Um, you know, one aspect mm-hmm. that people didn't, like, you know, that I guess didn't come into play with him coming in there is just culture, right? Like, uh, like I don't really know him like that, like that. But it seems like the Cowboys, in terms of their energy and in terms of just their willingness to work for the dude. I feel like going, they're just doing it for each other. Yeah, they're just, like, I mean, <laughs> but, like, hey, like, like, under that, like, Culture wise, it feels good over there. Yeah, it's a good um, feel. They still don't it's have a the Dick's team. jersey in the store. How the fuck do you not? I have to get that. That should be the oh, number you, one you jersey. You thought I was getting? Oh, no, no, I, I legit, legit was like, I'm getting it. What is it? What jerseys are they selling? Nonsense. Probably a Dak, lot of Dak. That's yeah. fine. It's Dak. It's the players. If Zeke you think. is in there over Diggs. That's a problem. But take a lap, take a lap, take a lap. Um, I got it. No, I. So I was. From a fantasy perspective, I'm mad at you, Mike Evans, but I understand your offensive situation. It's it's just uh, player of the week, really. Um, you know what? Let me think. Let me think. Bounce back to me. Tommy, you go first. Oh, mine's very easy. It's going to be a quick bounce back. Dunk Kong Metcalf <laughs> is going to be my take a lap, obviously. Because, man, look, I'm a fundamental guy when it comes to football. Dude. I'm, it's a, when, you are, when you play peewee football, what do they teach you, TJ? You shake your hand after the game, Well, baby. obviously, you can get your orange slices. But after, <laughs> before that, they teach you how to what? Hold on to the ball. To the ball. Am I right? Yes, sir. Basics. Fucking basics. This is the second time he's done this. First time, it did not go the way it went this time. I don't know if you remember that. I do. Yeah, how could you forget, Donkey Kong? It's bad. Get that shit fixed. Otherwise, you know what? You will be one of these fuckers who have traded a million. You'll be a Brandon Cooks. And then it's hard to get a legacy when you don't have a home, isn't it? It's hard to be a Shannon Sharp. When you don't have a home and you're just kind of this journeyman, middle of the road wide receiver. I think receiver. the only one I know that's pretty good at it, and they're not legacy. You're just like, oh, it's great that they're there. And it's, it's Sanders, Emmanuel Sanders. Yeah, he's one of those. <laughs> I don't think he'll make it to Emmanuel Sanders status. No. He'll be like a like a Josh Gordon without the weed or, you know, a A.J. Green or something. Not I even A.J., like, I'm sorry. He's just going to be middle of the road. I like, feel like he, DK has know, the potential. but uh, He does, and yeah. he stops saying really stupid shit. Man, I'm really trying to think. Like His name is Donkey Kong. Bad players. <laughs> <laughs> like, and a lot of the players, like, I felt like this week was just a really good week for football. Um, yeah, I don't think it was. It was oh, my gosh. Week. Oh, yeah. speaking of the same. Oh, my God. Oh, didn't right. you want to? Mm, of course. Uh, Gino, dog, hold up. That's a, <laughs> Gino Smith. Oh, you did bro. bad? Yes. I didn't watch the game. He's the one who lost them the game. Oh, that makes Man, sense. Man, got a fumble at the end of the game. That makes perfect sense. Closed it Classic out. Classic Gino. Bro, Gino. Okay, time out. Look. I am a firm, firm stand for backup quarterbacks. Reason being is I just love seeing opportunity. I love when that kinetic energy shows up. Right. And like, I mean, hey, Dak was a backup, and mm-hmm. you know, and I like, and, and that happens where you have somebody who's great. I like seeing Tyler Hedke playing better, right? Because he was behind one of the best QBs, uh, not this season, but one of the best QBs in beforehand, yeah. right? Um, not a bad quarterback. G- 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 you know, it, it, I, I I was pretty sure I was on here quoting. You know, uh, that you had a tweet where you retweeted where you said, interesting, to a comment that said you were the last QB to beat Tom Brady. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, um, what? So, so yeah, he was the last rookie QB to beat Tom Brady. Oh, Jesus. So, let me, let me, just, let me just say that, you know, I, I really want you to have that shot. I, w- I want you to be there. Th- like you, are, you, are, you are the backup to Russ Wilson. Like, you're not going to ever take his spot, but you can make sure your name is etched in. You solidify that spot and do well. And I be think Nick that, Foles. And I think that, you know, you got to close out the game with very simple things. We're going back to the Pee Wee football comment. You shouldn't be getting these fumbles, bro. Like, it's an OT game. This is this is your coup de grace. You only got this so many opportunities, Gino up. Smith. 
Gino Smith. <laughs> Gotta take a lap, buddy. Sure. And don't get punched in the face while you do it. Go ahead. <laughs> Continue. Uh, no, uh, the good points all around. Uh, the only so going on to Attaboy's, like who's the star of the week? I think I, I got to give it to King Henry the, again. Can I double that? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna hop on that one because I mean, how many he, running backs aren't supposed to be doing what he's doing? Well, the Bills also looked nigh undefeatable uh, before this. They looked pretty unstoppable. Yeah. May like, God it, bleed. Yeah, it, it they seemed... also lost against the Jets last week. Let's not forget that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> right, but it also did seem like so the Bills um, after they lost to the Steelers were on this like undefeated, like just beating everyone by thirty points streak, right. and then I, King Henry just went, "Nah, I'm I mean, just going to keep." What he does. Yeah, like, but it's not what he's done. I mean, it, he does it a lot, but at a certain point, he up. hits a wall. Yeah. Well, usually, as of late, it just takes him a while to get started, and then he usually rides that shit out the rest of the season. Once he does get started, he might have an off game every now and then, but it's usually like buck twenty, buck forty games, and just like, what the fuck are you gonna do? No, Derek Henry's very, very consistent. He, can he? Can his name, nickname be the Night Train? That's just such a great nickname. He doesn't. No one gets the night train except. Yeah, you're right. He's Austin <laughs> Zone. So yeah, he's. Th- I want a jersey. I'm gonna hang yeah, that I'm, shit I'm, on I'm the wall. I'm not kidding you. Like I'll, I'll same, want a night same train here. jersey. Um, for me, it will actually be another running back that you've definitely heard me talk about yeah. a bunch. Yeah, I Jonathan Taylor. He yeah. is top yeah. five for. Yeah. Un- oh, oh, Look it, who no, the fuck he played. He's number one. No, it wasn't just. He should have played Texas State. That defense <laughs> is better. Than the He's Houston Texans the, shitty ass fucking I'm, defense. This is not just a not just against the Texans sort of thing. When has he done it before? Uh, this season. Dude, he's leading the league in under like under five yard rush. Like he's leading the league in a lot of stats. I don't on his care RV. what you say. He's not that good. He's great. He's a Colts. I know he's yeah, great. Yeah, I said he's great. Just he's let a, me have he's something. He's a great RB. You're hating on everybody. <laughs> I'm going to get back one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. Yeah, so, so, I'm so, look, can I can I'm sorry. I'll let you finish, and then I want to yeah, so, formally apologize. So, Jonathan Taylor is looking great. I like the I like what we're seeing from him. I think he's getting the attention there. I, I felt like this is the first time. Well, in a set, they won't make him the wide. They won't like Frank literally. Frank a table. Coach. They won't just feed him the ball in the first half. He would have had two hundred plus but, yards in this game. Yeah. Best uh, running back nickname since the Nigerian Nightmare. I'm not sure who that one is. That's what? just a great. Who the <laughs> fuck is the Nigerian? Now I want to know who that is. I just want to kind of. These are great nicknames. Actually, you can't... we should make that. A, we should make that a thing where we, we go through. And we, I want to look at nicknames, like best nicknames. Uh, coming from, so next week, go do your research. This week, I want to come back with some great nicknames you dug up. Okay. Um, from the NFL. The Skulls. only Nigerian Nightmare I know is Kamura Usman. Same. Yeah, yeah. Same here. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't did? Oh, you never saw the hockey documentary. On Netflix. I think they had a player. Yeah. yeah, his nickname was the Nigerian Nightmare, also. Very violent. Nigerian dudes play hockey? Yeah, it's, you really need to watch this hockey. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. You just need to watch hockey. Hockey's dope. But yeah, I like, I'm, um, I'm really just, you know, I actually have just been really liking RBs again. Um, I feel like there was like a, like, came pass heavy last season or the, been more recently, and we're still in the pass heavy league. But love seeing, um, love seeing RBs not only adapting. Um, to being more of a like in Jonathan Taylor's case, where it's only like two or three good ones. No, I th- who you else got- is doing good? The people we've known to do well aren't Are- doing that good. Dalvin Cook kind of came on yeah. just this week, really. Again, was he injured? Kind though? Of a, yeah, he was injured. He was injured. Yeah, and just, just not- he's on my fantasy team. Yeah, he was injured. Yeah, he was injured. Has he been injured since the beginning of the season? I yes. He- yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, good uh, for him. Well, no, I mean, if you, think, no, if you think about it, the other, like my whole thing is, is because there's been so many injuries with RBs this year, right? That a like lot crazy. of a lot of I backups. I just assume they're all hurt. No, a lot of backups yeah. have to come up to play, and so a lot of rookies got some shine. Like literally, the Ravens are on their fourth string. Yeah, they're doing terrible. Lata- Latavius Murray got hurt. Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. Right. Good God. So like that's a curse. They, they had literally sign, had to put Bell in. Yeah, they had to sign Levy on Bill. They did not want to do. <laughs> no one had to do something. Yeah. And Tyson Williams was like, they can't always... "Ah, you can't get rid of me yet." <laughs> hey, we'll take a, we'll take a fourth rounder for Mark Ingram. He, he's familiar. No, Mark Ingram. <laughs> I like Mark Ingram. Well, he's, you, he's a very likable guy, but you know what? I, I feel like he's, he's getting washed I, up as fuck. Yeah. No, I feel like he's just getting. Ah, man, he got put in a bad position because he's not the type of he's not the type of running back that can like you know 
take he's the helm of your team. But he's getting twenty I carries a game I, in Houston. I feel like I, I feel like I feel like he <laughs> yeah. was he was in a sweet spot with the Ravens to where a like, nice comfortable spot. We're like, oh hey, like you know, that's when your blocking comes into play a lot I'll more. Let J.K. take a take the brunt, you know? Yeah, come I'll, in for a little glory, a little, every a little bit. I block real well. But you know what? I'm gonna give a bomb ass hype speech at halftime though. He's good at that, and yeah, he's, he's that magic good. water. And yeah, he lo- and he loved <laughs> Lamar Jackson, but but yeah, um, yeah, J- uh, Jonathan Taylor uh, with a yeah. special honorable mention. Uh, a lot of to good running backs Emmanuel Sanders the AFC again. South. Like I just, yeah. I, I love. He won me my what, fantasy game. Love seeing yeah. just. I, I really think that he's just been one of those players who just not had that opportunity. Now he's yeah. getting it. And it's just showing me that, like, hey, I hope he gets to play for a couple more years. I, 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 it's going to be maybe one or two left. Yeah. yeah, he's been around for a while. Is I, Frank Gore still playing? <laughs> he just he just retired, actually. Oh, season. I thought his whole, like, thing was I'm going to play one season with my son. Son, yeah, he yeah. did not make They cut him. So, um, yeah, then he just called it quits, I believe. He might be back. I, I don't know. Wait, they cut Frank, Frank Gore, Gore or they cut his son? <laughs> Frank Gore. <laughs> yeah, old Frank Gore. Senior. Yeah, it's okay, Frank Gore. Someone will need you in this running back hey, economy right now. What is he right like now? number seven all time on one I'm of those? I'm sure he, he is. is. <laughs> That's from years. That's from That's times. From years, man. Well, <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> That's what the, a staying power for your ass, bro. As a, as, as running back. That's a real tough That's thing to do. That's yeah. impressive. This is not like a QB situation. Like Tom Brady, I get it. He made some comment that he was like, I can play till I'm 50, 55. It's only because you're in the QB position you where you're hit. not getting yeah. beat The rest protect you more than your fucking O-line protects you. So you're fine. Yeah. Um, and, I, and that's coming from like a person who genuinely, I do have a lot of respect for Tom Brady. But um, yeah. how could you not? How could you go. not? Like you can't go. question the GOAT. Yeah. Uh, but he has a running back making it as long as Frank Gore. Oh, that deserves a. Uh, that's should he should have uh, an honorary a per, 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 per heart, uh, a medal of honor. Like it's need, crazy. They should just give him an army uniform. You know, it's insane <laughs> for his time. Uh, but here's to what is goes on the YouTube and, and also one of our favorite sections. Pickums. Yeah. Pickums. Pickums. It's everybody's favorite. Unfortunately, the computer died, so I'm gonna need a. I need to edit this anyway. So whatever. Um, Broncos versus Browns are the fr- is the first game. It's Browns. It's it's easily the Browns. It's not. I'm going no, because they just they they they're uh, they're terrible. Kareem Hunt just got wrecked. Uh, and they have Baker Mayfield. They still have Nick Chubb. But yeah, what's what what are the Broncos doing? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Browns. I'm going Broncos. All right, cool. They've lost three in a row. I'm going Browns. Well, they look. They lost this last game, but they did not do terrible. The numbers were okay. Which means I think they do for a win, and who better to win against than fucking Cleveland? Didn't they lose against the Raiders by like eight points? I'm sure they did. <laughs> I, no, so it's Sammy about, was at that game. We can find out. Oh, he was actually at the game. Good yeah. Him. So just I know that we don't have it pulled up because uh, the computer here died, but I will say that from memory, memory is not correct, uh, mistaken. Um, between you and Sammy, there's still a three point gap. Sammy's still leading. Yeah, Sammy's ahead. It's unfortunate. Yeah. That but is, Sammy made oh, a lot of he he lost well the him. most games. Sammy lost the most games, just not enough for you to catch up. But we're making dents. Yeah. And that's what's important. I don't care if any of us win, just don't let him win. I mean, at the I end, think he's hey, I think he's making some solid picks so far. Uh, I think last week aside. It's Sammy, so I will refuse to say that, but I would I <laughs> what I, I noticed is it. that so that last week you were only off by two and I was like, I need to take, I don't know how. I thought I, I did terrible three. this week. Yeah, I, I was like, I need to take you to Vegas so that you can set up a oh, parlay bet. So much money. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going with uh, the Browns. Uh, next one, Pas- uh, Marcos. You got to say yours. Yeah, what's yours? I said Browns. I said it at the beginning. Oh, While y'all were thinking, I still I said oh, Browns. Okay. Yeah. You said it's the Browns. Yeah, you're yeah. right. I swear we do listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, potential AFC playoff match: okay. the Chiefs and the Titans. Titans, actually. Going Chiefs. I don't know what's happening with the Chiefs. They have a terrible defense. And Derrick Henry's hungry, so I'm good. Oh, no, Der- Derrick Henry's going to eat. He's going to get his, but Ryan Tannehill versus Patty Mahomes. Come on. Yeah, no. That, that's uh, not the problem. That's the not defense. the problem. Yeah, no, the defense is terrible. And the Titans' defense is not bad. <laughs> so uh, It ain't great. Oh, no, okay, they play the Bills. That's like an, that's an exception, not the rule. Look, Derrick yeah. Henry is a monster right My now. Patty thing, Mahomes is looking off, and it's not because of when, him. I think it's more so the players. When it comes to football, it's the rule of a broke clock is right twice a day applies. It's going to be teams. 
They're just going to catch you that shouldn't catch you. And that's just what it is. The Tennessee Titans is one of those teams that caught a team they weren't supposed to. It's an illusion. And this week it will be set right. KC. <laughs> so on the other hand. KC. I would like. Fuck the ghost Oilers. I would like the Chiefs to win because the Cowboys play the Chiefs next week. Oh, wait. Time out. Mm. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter what you wish. It's what you think will happen. I'm still stick with the tight. I can't no, wait for that game, actually, by the way. I'm really excited oh, for Oh, the game. Cowboys fan in me. Oh, man. This is rough. I do not want to wish. This. You know what? I trust my boys. I'm going to go with the Titans. And then I Your want, boys? Then I want, when did this happen? No, no, He's no. He's no. always been a Cowboys fan. I've always been a Cowboys fan. Oh, the, oh, oh. I, I said I'm going to trust that okay. even if KC loses, yeah. that they won't have a bounce back. Because KC almost lost. Or it was going, was kind of not almost. They've lost, lost two in a row. Yeah, but, already. But yeah, but they they were not they were not looking clean this last game. You guy. can't underestimate KC. I think ever I that offense can, is no. just too it's too much. You have to outshoot them, and I just don't. Well, see the problem Ryan is Tannehill being capable of that. The, the Cowboys can beat the Chiefs. Because, they can outshoot them. Yeah. Well, it's not about outshooting them. It's we have Zeke and Pollard. It's a nice and, tandem. Yeah, and then Henry is basically. It's a combination of both of them. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> so, I, besides that, I mean, just like plain and simple, like we actually have an other side of the ball, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think oh, yeah, you do. It's but with, but that's defense. the next week thing. I'm, uh, I can't wait yeah. for that. Going with Casey. Titans. What about you? Uh, I guess I got to pick Titans. Who's your friend? Really? <laughs> really? Okay. All right. I just, ha- I mean, why? <sighs> the Chiefs just. They can't get it together. And there was a point, there was a point, obviously, at the beginning of the season that they, the Chiefs were the shoe in. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that they were probably a shoe in to get to the AFC yeah, Championship game. Right. But the problem is at this point, it's like this schedule is really hard. Like even before this game, like they played, I think the, the back to back losses, I think, was uh, the. Well, they didn't play the Raiders yet, but I know they played the Rams for sure. Rams was and, then, one, yeah. and then they played the Ravens. Oh, That's yeah. not an easy no, gauntlet. No, it, yeah, it doesn't. It, it's the Titans, though. They lost against the Jets. And my, I really hate the short memories of football. They lost against the Jets. Wait, I thought the Jets beat the Bills. No, the Jets beat the Titans. Then who the Bills lose to before? I don't know. <laughs> those lost, those lost no. the Steelers. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's I don't it's like that worse. either. It's, it's, it's not worse. It's yeah. not worse. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> yeah, right, like, um, but I mean, yeah, we. Uh, that, I, it, but, the Titans are the most lopsided, inconsistent ass team in the NFL. But the one thing that is consistent is Derrick Henry. He's gonna get his. Doesn't mean he can win you a game. Yes, against it does. Patty Mahomes and Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey. It does not, sir. I'm pretty sure he's Kelsey one guy. Is, he will get gassed. He's a big man. Is Kelsey not injured right he, now? No, nobody was injured. That no, Kelsey's good. not injured. Was, Hill was, was Kettle, hurt. Oh, okay. Uh, Everybody's Hill. healthy. On that oh, no, no, I have Tyreek Hill, um, <laughs> so I know that he was. Yeah, he, they were both iffy. Yeah. Um, but thus far, they're okay. They're, they're healthy. I, it, it could go either way. I mean, it's going to be a good match, I think, Derek. One guy can. versus three yeah. guys. Yeah, but That's I what mean, it is. That's the defense is. is so heavy, dude. Casey's defense? defense. Casey's defense is so heavy. It is so, it's, it's dragging. It's the same reason why Casey lost twice. No, they're terrible. Again, that's why they only win in shootouts. Okay. I was wrong, and, and I'm being corrected. To. What? The Cowboys play the Vikings next. Fuck! When do they play the fucking KC then? Uh, November, November 11th. 11th. November Fuck! 11th. Oh, well, then you I'm fine. me up, Mark. Uh, Bang! So, God damn it. <laughs> mark <laughs> that one on the calendar. Oh, yeah. That's Hopefully, it'll still be interesting game. then, you know. Oh, a lot can change. Let, oh, bro, I'm going to tell you right now, if Diggs ever, if he gets an interception off Patty Mahomes. I'm well, he's giving those out like bro, he's Christmas like, presents. But I'm, yeah. <laughs> but I'm still saying. Like, yeah. He's going to. If mm. I had to predict it, I'd say he would. Playing the Vikings. Mm. God, we need to start gambling because that's, that's a good prop bet. <laughs> yeah. So they're saying Chiefs run, uh, running defense is trash. Oh, yeah. So, it's yeah. really it's, bad. It's yeah. terrible. Yeah. No, I know. <laughs> it's not lost on me. I realize it. Again, one guy, one dude. Derrick Henry is all they have. He's that's a, a lot to have. He will get tired. <laughs> he can't run every fucking play. Pretty sure Ryan he can. T- no, he, <laughs> he ain't Superman. He is very good. Ryan Tannehill has to throw the ball at some fucking point, and he will fuck up because that's what he is, is a fuck up. So that's what will happen, and then Patty Mahomes will capitalize. They'll do their razzle-dazzle. It'll be a close game, but KC will win. 
All right. And next, so that was very interesting. Interesting. It's a debate. Discussion. We haven't yeah. had yeah. many yeah. of those. Yeah. Uh, this next one will not be. Oh, it'll, okay. It'll be. I'm yeah. Sure. It'll be the reskins at the Packers. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> Packers. I don't even know who the reskins I have. I don't they, it was, know what they are. <laughs> I don't know what they are, Marco. The human people. <laughs> that would be the best name ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to entertain this of con- uh, this conversation, aka. Packers. <laughs> <laughs> Next game. Yeah, I yeah. hate the Packers, and even I got to pick. Yeah, them. I don't even care. Yeah, you yeah, do. I don't That's like. True. I'm it's with just, you. I don't like the Packers that much. Uh, yeah, Cowboys, but, uh, you, you can't do anything but pick them. <laughs> Next game. <laughs> so on the other end of the spectrum, this one is going to be very interesting and a debate. It's uh, the Bengals versus the Ravens. Mm, that's a close one. Fuck. <sighs> you know what? I think. I think Joe is due for a loss. I'm going Ravens. They just lost, I thought. No, they I'm, just they won. won. They won. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, they yeah, lost, you're right. They yeah, lost against it, Packers and won. Yeah, game. but that was a stinging loss. Like, that get lost. That was kind close. Of, yeah. yeah. I just, oh, fuck. I, you never know. I could, if they win, it wouldn't surprise I just me. don't know what Ravens are going to show up like. Like, not, not in terms They've of... They've only lost hey, one game. We're in the middle of the season, baby. Yeah. That's Lamar time. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he's right. going to show out until the playoffs, and then he's going to figure out. Actually, you're right. Yeah, you're right. how this goes. It is Lamar, it yeah. is Lamar time now. It's Lamar time. <laughs> I was like, I was like, is it getting colder? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Prime time, regular season. <laughs> yeah. Hero. That's his bread and butter. Lamar, I'm going with the Bengals. <laughs> he's a fucking white walker. It's it colder. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> Like yes, that's I'm, accurate. But, I, but I'm gonna go with the Bengals. Uh, really? Okay. Mainly just because uh, record wise, like I yeah. like it. I, 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 I mean, like the Bengals. I, I, feel, I feel like they they got a shot. Uh, they I, do. I, it would not surprise me. Damn, I'm going with back to back. Kind of con- not not controversial, but I, I, Man, I don't think that one's that controversial. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, go with the Bengals. That's educated. Yeah, these next games are kind of like easy, hard, easy, hard. Okay. Uh, but like, but yeah, uh, going b- back to this one, I. I think you're right. You just kind of convinced me. Like Lamar is going to Lamar yeah. right now. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's going to Lamar all the way, <laughs> all the way to the playoffs. To the offseason when it starts to get a little too warm for him again. And then he <laughs> will fizzle out the first game he plays in the in the postseason. Hopefully by then he has a running back. It, back. Does, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't. Because I hope he has his wide receiver up. back then. Again, yeah. as long as it's Mark Andrews, that's it. That's all he's got. That's all he needs. That's all he needs for he me. Has, look, man, I love Hollywood Brown. <laughs> I wish Hollywood Brown would get traded to a team that could use him. Like a Pittsburgh, perfect. Go where your cousin went. Go to show the go fuck to the out. Bucks, they, baby. They need a quarterback first, of course. But yeah, when they get that, have a wide receiver ready for them. Bucks don't need anymore. <laughs> uh, Panthers, Giants. Oh, Panthers. Panthers. Yeah, yeah, Panthers. They've lost yeah. three in a row. It throw. It's the Giants. That's well, what it, this is more. Well, about. the issue with the Giants is when they played Dallas, they like. Half their team got murdered. That I think Daniel should be back, right? Because he was on con- concussion protocol. Does it yeah. matter? No, it really yeah, doesn't. I'm about to say none of it uh, matters when it comes to any New York team. Is C Mac back yet? I don't even. Uh, Sam Z. Uh, does it matter? He should be this game. Maybe. No, I think he's still out. Was he showing out before he got hurt? Mm-hmm. Oh, he was carrying that team. Um, like well, I mean, he's does. been doing that already, so. I'm going with the Panthers. <laughs> yeah, Panthers. Yeah, Pan- I mean, yeah, it's I don't even, even ask that question like it like that matters. Yeah, no, it doesn't. You're they the one who asked if CMC said, I'm like, dude, it's not. No, I didn't. I did. He did. Oh, you yeah, did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Um, the battle of the bottom bowl, uh, Falcons at Dolphins. Oh, God. Falcons. I'll say Dolphins just to fuck around. Does it really matter? <laughs> yeah, right. That one really is tough. Yeah, I'm going to say Dolphins. It, it matters in the sense that Actually, you're no, two games behind Falcons. Sam. Falcons, yes, it does. <laughs> I'm going to say Falcons. Go, yeah. Um, yeah, I get yeah, I'm, There's no reason to pick the Dolphins. It's none. Yeah. I don't really it's see It's a sad, reason. sad team that I wish would take Deshaun Watson off our hands, but yeah. It might. For love of God, just do it. He Instead of having to, yeah, instead of Regardless. flying out the masseuse to him. Miami has to, plenty he, of yeah, them. Yeah, he, he used to fly them out from Florida Don't left and right. Don't sexually assault them, but yeah, allegedly. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Jets at Patriots. Jets, Patriots. 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 Yeah, it's yeah, a Patriots division game, revenge which is game. why I'm thinking yeah. about it like that. Pa- just, but also, I Patriots Jets, showed out last game, so yeah. It wouldn't surprise me if the Jets won this game, to be honest with you, but I'm going to say Patriots. I've got to go with the educated guesses. 
You got to go with the safe bet. To pass safe bets. So I'll say I got to. It's just not right for him to be number one. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do it. Um, and then the battle of the boys that aren't here. Uh, Jordan and Sam play each other. Eagles at Raiders. Oh, Raiders. Oh. Can we get those two in the same room for that game? Absolutely uh, they're, not. They're both gone. <laughs> oh, God, there they are. The gods hate us. <laughs> we would have kept them apart. They wouldn't have gotten physical. I just the passion. Oh, no, Raider TJ, fans are kind of crazy. They're psychopath. And, and Eagles the fans guy, destroyed their city. I feel like the guy <laughs> destroyed their own. The city. guy who Eagles hit, fans beat up Santa. <laughs> I feel like the guy who hit Nancy Kerrigan in the kneecaps with a with a, a lead pipe or crowbar was a Raiders fan. It just seems like a very Raiders thing to do. It's a Raiders yes. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm going with uh, fuck. I'm going Philly, actually. I'm repping Jordan. I can't, I can't condone a team that hired John Gruden. <laughs> I refuse. I feel like their chemistry got better after he was gone, so I'm going to go with the Raiders. Yeah, that's what everybody was saying, that it's they, they're playing without the chip on their shoulder now, without Dad yelling it's at freedom. them. Freedom, yeah. yeah. I know. I've, I've seen the effects of that for like a week. Uh Fuck yeah! Well, I got, Gruden, I had, be Gruden was I always like a this. super pessimistic coach to talk shit to you. So well, he's a piece of shit. So I mean, it's yeah. <laughs> but I mean, now that he's gone, all these millennial kids are probably oh, gonna play God, better. Like yeah. for one season, <laughs> for one season, structure you need structure, Marcus. I'll go with the Raiders because I, I I gotta win. Yeah, it's probably gonna be the Raiders. <sighs> yeah. Um, Lions at Rams. 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 Yeah, Rams. That's not even Lions a game. Are a joke. Did they bench Jared Goff yet? Because it's coming. It's coming. They're talking about it. <laughs> How you feel about Kyler Murray, which is unwarranted. Uh, I feel it's about Jared Goff, well, which is very, very warranted. warranted. <laughs> <laughs> which is, I have oh, so God. much hate. No, no, no I, yeah. I like Haterade. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, dislike. For disdain, real reasons. You fake-ass quarterback. <laughs> like, you have no reason yeah. to it. He's a I'm mouth not. breather. I really do get him and Josh Rosen mixed up all the time. I don't like They're the same I guy don't to me. Like Jerry yeah. I yeah. don't care for him. Except you, one just had a better situation. You held back your franchise. The you held back and the I Rams. Now look at him. I love the Rams now. The Rams are dope. Matt this Stafford. Is, this is, it feels like with Matthew Stafford, like this is the universe. that this, should, this is what this should be. This is what L.A. deserves as their quarterback. Yeah. He should have been here for eight years already. That's what it feels like. And, yeah. and then Kyler Murray shows up and gives him an L. So... <laughs> again, luck is a thing. They play each other again. You know, people walk on tight ropes also for a living, and Bro, if they you. fall, they're done. Just like Kyler Murray, if he gets hit once. <laughs> so you know, it's very similar. Does Sammy have a small ass head? Like, I feel like it's large. <laughs> next, next. Uh, the next game also pretty easy to call. Bears at Bucks. I'll let you go. So Bears got their heart stomped out last Bucks, game. Man. Yeah. Maggie is their coach. Aaron it's not even wild. that. They literally this tried their best. They took their best shot at, at Aaron Rodgers. Man, and Aaron Rodgers threw a touchdown and said, we still own you. Well, I still own you. Yeah. yeah. He said, oh, look, look. It's a sad little <laughs> team. He's like, I was yeah. playing with my hand behind my back all game. Let me <laughs> take yeah. it out and actually I'm going to quit playing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> always bet on red, baby. <laughs> the Bucks. Your Bucks. Oh, who's the only team that beat the Cowboys? The Bucks. I mean, that didn't mean that much right now. I mean, we beat the Chargers, who are also still up there. What happened with them this week? Exactly. Lamar. <laughs> Lamar is going to Lamar. He's going to Lamar, but I mean, they had zero. And like, that wasn't even a close game. So, yeah, now look. I, I like what the Cowboys pumped the brakes. We're not no, saying no, anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're not the problem. You're one of the good ones. You, though. <laughs> I, well, 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 all, all, all I said you was, are not, who is the only team that beat the Cowboys? That That's a That is a very true Cowboys statement. fan thing to say. Bro, like, it is still early. Stop jinxing your team. I'm not. You do it. I'm not, not him. You. I'm not, you are that fan that does it. We're going to the Super Bowl. Motherfucker, it's September 2nd. How? You don't even have a team. So shut up. I have one that I hate. TJ. I have one that made me hate football and my life. You can't you can't even you cannot honestly look at me and I I wasn't even saying that as a Cowboys fucking statement. They're just a good ass team that the Bucks fucking beat, and now the Bucks are going against another team. I'm gonna bet on the goddamn Bucks. It gives me more encouragement towards the Bucks that they beat us. 
The Bucks are the Cowboys. Cowboys, because I grew up with them. Exact Cowboys fan thing to say. Listen. <laughs> well, well, we're going to talk okay. about your team now. Why? Because you're playing the Cardinals. Cardinals. <laughs> Move it on. <laughs> Unanimous. Let's go. I'm it's, glad he picked Murray to win. You saw how quick I made that, right? <laughs> Let's go. We don't need to talk about it. There's nothing you, to talk about. Let's go. You don't want to talk about JJ Watt? Can no. No. <laughs> can I just can I just can I just say Why did that set that up? What if how what? the hell did we go from what I was to that? You did that on purpose. <laughs> can, can we, it's next. It's literally next. <laughs> can, we, can we can we can I just there is a realm. There is a universe, an alternative timeline where this is this is the one <laughs> Fuck game. You already. <laughs> <laughs> and if this is the one game where the Texans win, I'll cry. Oh, I'll legitimately I cry because uh, I, I will Kyler laugh. Murray. I will never defend will Kyler. Lur- I'll, I will. I can't even defend Kyler Murray Look, if they lost to the Texans. You want to hear something? I this would come back. I would bring you. Be. I. I. I, I no. <laughs> this no. isn't even about. This game is not even about Kyler Murray and his little shrimp ass. This is about my. This is my Texans, J.J. Watt and DeAndre Hopkins, embarrassing the shitty piece of shit fucking team that let them go. Do you think he's going to wave at them too? I hope the fuck he does. <laughs> I hope he does. Oh, I hope he blows a kiss to the fucking sideline because the team is fucking terrible and they deserve to have both of them show out. I hope J.J. gets six sacks. Fuck a Davis Mills. Break them. And I hope fucking DeAndre you, Hopkins. Last week you I don't give a rat's ass, <laughs> TJ. Fuck that team. They broke my heart. They bro- broke the city's heart. Fuck every. I hope they burn NRG to the ground. Listen. Here's, <laughs> listen to me. I hope D Hop gets four TDs, 200 plus yards. And I hope Kyle Murray gets hurt. All of those things, if that happens in this game, I will be a happy camper. I won't wish hurt on any player, but I will say that. You signed up for this sport. <laughs> It's, it's this Actually, part I think this will it. be a low scoring I hope game. He comes, look, when I, when, I just want to put this out. I don't think it will. <laughs> no, no, only reason oh, being no, no, is no. we'll get the lead and just kind of coast look, it out. Let me, let me, when I say a player gets hurt, I hope they come back. I'm not a, a career ender or a season ender. Oh, so you want like a concussion Couple weeks. shake up? Like yeah. a protocol? Couple weeks just to humble you a little bit and he can come back. Kyler Murray, no. Uh, him, I wouldn't be sad if he, could, if he went to baseball because he, he couldn't play football anymore, but he could go to another sport and continue his career. I hope this I, I don't. Eggs you <laughs> I, I really hope he, like listening to this and he hears my defense. Hey, yo, if I will be a Cardinals fan if you want to send me tickets. If also, you, if you want to egg this dude's house, I'm, I got you. I, I, I need eggs. Talk it's to fine. Him. Listen. Listen. Because you don't deserve this. If he loved Texas, I would be a, a Kyler Murray fan, but he hates Texas, obviously. He doesn't hate Texas. No, because he chose his colors and they weren't burnt orange. They were the op- enemy's colors. I don't think that was an option. They were the enemy's colors, though, I think TJ. they had Colt McCoy's brother at that time. They had many. I mean, he didn't even have to go to UT. He could have went anywhere else in Texas. Every Texas team needs a quarterback. He could have went to a and I wouldn't have cared. I might have cared of that He could have went to Oklahoma <laughs> State, <laughs> like, and I, I wouldn't have, have cared. Like, I would have liked that. Alabama, LSU, I wouldn't I don't think he was good. He was never going to go to Alabama. <laughs> well, 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 you ain't an Alabama <laughs> status. Oh, it's coming down there. But, yeah, you chose Oklahoma? You're dead to me. That's, I, that's how, look, no, I've said this many a time, and I will say this, and I will stop talking. And I mean this with every ounce of my being. If I have a child, and my child goes to Oklahoma University, they are dead to me and they are disowned. I mean what I say. You, I mean what the fuck I say. You, you take my last name off of you because you're not mine. You've just your last name is Oklahoma. Something you will hate. Your last name is You've Oklahoma. You just bred now. an Oklahoma family. Next game. <laughs> Just change it to a W. Woodgrew. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's fine. You can Wario it if you want. Yeah, no, fuck you. You're not my child. You Oki. Go. Ahead. Yeah, I had to build that up a little bit because these last last two games are kind of like who cares? Uh, it's the Colts and the 49ers. Oh God, 49ers. Colts. What? Colts. Colts. What? They're on the bounce back, and the 49ers are falling. They're not. The 49ers are not that great this season. What makes you think the Colts are on the bounce back? Please tell me. Carson Wentz is on right now, which is it only lasts like three weeks. Who did he play, though? Who did he play last game? All you need is a. No, who no, did about, he play you last? Know, you, you, who you, did he play? You though? know that those types of games get the, your energy up after no. a loss. And then reality hits you when you go up against a 49ers defense, which ain't great, ain't what it was, but it still ain't. Ain't no chumps. He showed up. That's against, a real defense. He showed up against way. the 49, uh, the Ravens. That was the overtime. They were still figuring it out. 
Like I'm, I'm, I'm really checking. I'm like, I, I don't remember the 49ers being that great this season. No, they're not no. good. That defense is okay though. It's yeah, still, like it's a remnant three. of what they were. It's still a solid defense. It's a beatable team. Yeah, I mean, defense wise, they threw, they, they let the Lions, the Colts, they let the man, Lions score 33 man, points. The chat, Look, the chat is happen. yelling "boomer" sooner. That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them! I can't stand them. Like the they let the I'm re, I'm really confused here because they definitely let the well, Lions score 33 issue, though, points. TJ Frank Reich's not going to give the ball to Jonathan Taylor. To That's very true. Half. Actually, you're right. So yeah, no, trust he me. He won't it's, acknowledge it's, Jonathan it's Taylor's as RB one until later hey, on. He's got to put effort into that Carson Wentz experiment. So he's going to let him sling it to Pittman for a few times around. No, he literally he until it doesn't work. I'm and telling then, you right yeah. now. God, I hate it. He's, he's like, is it the fourth quarter? Oh, okay. You JT, you get the so ball, So he could get 100 <laughs> yards and two touchdowns. Something he could have been doing the whole game. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen. So, yeah, 49ers for me. Oh. Educated guess. I did that thing, Sammy Heats. I just noticed. Boom. Thanks. They're tied not for really. – oh, no, actually. They're, they're not, not tied for last. Yeah, we are. No, no, no. Yeah, no, we are. Yeah. <laughs> the Jags won their first game yeah, last no, week. Yeah, I saw that. So we're tied <laughs> with the Jags. Put it that way. Go ahead. Um, oh, speaking of which <laughs> – Oh, no, Jack, they're not playing this right. week. Oh, they got a bye week. week. God, they need it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Saints at the Seahawks is Ooh, Monday Saints. night. I'm Saints. Going Saints. Yeah, Seahawks, Seahawks are just a broken Gino. team. Yeah, I guess Gino got kind of exposed. This North game. Kong's going to do something stupid. So, yeah. yeah. And I, I, you know, I really just got, you get one game where I just got, I got to go against the Seahawks right quick. And also, the Seahawks. It's I don't, okay. <laughs> and the Seahawks, uh, literally, as I yeah. as we've explained it for multiple weeks, you, they are a. Uh, a tier team that doesn't make comprehensible sense sometimes, and so yes, they're going to lose this game. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Well, that brings us to the end of our show. Thank Can you. Can I all say for something real quick? Yeah, go for it. I am sorry, I've been negative today, people. Like it's just no, well, it's you, been a rough football week for me. I mean, it was. I mean, we had to come from behind to play that beat the fucking Pats. Texans fan, but you guys. Look, you know, was you are a Cowboys fan, but a Bucks fan also, and yeah, Cowboys. Like, you, but your seasons are cohesive, and it's a real football season. Yeah. You have real players on your team that are actually doing things. Yes, is there a mutiny in your locker room? And do guys want to want to leave? That was kind of last year. Do you have three players left from your last season? No, only. No. Uh, we do. <laughs> like it's bad. Jerry Jones is really good at retention rates. He's a rates. fantastic owner. I wish I had him as an owner. Would he like to buy the Texans? No, could, he wouldn't. Could someone please buy the Texans? Because get, our owner likes to sit in a room barefoot and play video games. I'm just waiting for the Austin Bills still. For the love of God, please. Or San Antonio. <laughs> I don't care any other Texas team so I can jump the fuck ship off of the Texans because they're going to they're gonna make me just an angry, crazy person, and I don't want to be that. What's it, What are like – the what are like – uh? What are Texas animals that haven't been taken yet? Because I feel like the armadillos. Austin Bills wouldn't make sense. That doesn't make <laughs> sense at all. Austin, yeah, Austin Armadillos. San, San Antonio Arm, Armadillos. Uh, San Antonio Dillos. <laughs> I like that. Dillos, Go Dillos. Yeah. That'll, be the dil- that'll be the dildos every time. Oh, like, they would fuck be, around yeah. and do that. Yeah. Go to an opposing team. Yeah. Be the Rattlers. That's like the only do my cool bas- one. My NBA 2K team, the Troubadours. <laughs> there you go. I feel like the Texans kind of almost took that. Texas is a terrible name and a terrible team. So everybody, good night. <laughs> but join, in, uh, join yeah. us on Thursday at about 9.15. We'll be talking about top five movies to watch during Halloween season. Yeah, and uh, this is going to be a struggle list for me. I'll be there. But uh, this is going to be a struggle list for me because uh, I don't really do the whole Halloween thing. Why? Or, what? I didn't, I didn't growing up, so I didn't like have a bunch of movies. You watch movies. You're a movie guy. Yeah, but I like, but and I like horror movies, but it, it, like I don't, I, I don't associate them with Halloween like that. How like, not? Um, spooky season. I mean, but no, spooky season to me is like when you have half naked girls about to say, and that's, drinking. That's adult Halloween. Yeah, and I like that's why it's my I like second Halloween. favorite holiday. Christmas is number one always. <laughs> Um, but uh, also, please feel free to leave comments, questions, 
concerns, feedback, anything on all forms of our social medias, whether that's the Anchor or the TikTok, which is doing great. We appreciate all the support there. Um, the YouTube, which is also doing really fantastic and we really appreciate all the success there, but we want to hear more from y'all. If you can't tell, this show oftentimes has a bunch of engagement and usually we vibe off of that too and we like to have conversations with y'all and we can continue to have that if you slide into our DMs on Instagram, write comments on anywhere else, or even leave feedback directly onto one of our individual pages as well. But we appreciate you yeah heart yeah. but you know how we normally close this out where can they find you mr marco well all they gotta do is type jail marco 62 into anything and i'll pop up um tj where can they find you tj man on the instagrams if you want some more private time with me alpha x phoenix on the twitch but you can always catch me as the back end of the social media person so if you slide into those dms i'm looking on tiktoks the instagrams anywhere else Oh, Un- the underscore excellence. There you go. Tom McGrew underscore art Instagram. That's it. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us here today. You have a wonderful night and see you soon. Stay. Stay.